and Stuart's just home from his night shift. Oh, the wind's down, that's uh, two to the north. But it uh, has not stopped raining at all. It's mid-afternoon and uh, it's stopped raining. You know what that means. Now 
Okay, it's time to reactivate the sim for the cellular router gateway. Easiest way is to pop the sim into the iPhone and contact Vodafone. I had to reboot the uh, cellular gateway Wi-Fi router and you have to change the password and username as the first thing. Surprisingly, I'm not going to tell you what it is. So well, that's all uh, set up. So we'll see if we've got connection now. Oh, just waiting for the uh, Raymarine plotter to boot itself up. Well, I don't know, because the cell phone's busy talking to the internet through the cellular gateway. Oh, I've just checked the Raymarine website <coughs> support uh, pages, and there are actually no updates available for what I use, so it doesn't really matter. However, Navionics will need to have its charts updated. Oh, let's tempt fate. See if we can update it. Well, now we have cellular connection to everything else. So they're on micro SD cards in here. I'm going to assume it's the one in slot one. I have some old Navionics charts, but. Uh, I have the one where you can stick a micro SD card into the SD holder and then into USB of the elderly laptop. I'll need to renew my subscription on the 24th of December but uh, the card has just been updated now. Oh, it still works. That is good. It's starting to rain, which was forecast, so a lazy day seems like a good idea. Well, I've been struggling away with this old GoPro, and I will download footage to the older iPhone I've got here, but it has refused to download footage to this one despite reinstalling the app and doing a reset of the camera and reformatting the SD card and I've put a new SD card in 
Well, it's all incredibly frustrating. The camera does work. Uh, it just won't work with this iPhone. Can't understand why. Uh, but we can use it with the other iPhone. And Santa, aka Sasha, has bought me a new latest one for Christmas, I understand. We have another new toy and my endless quest to have something simple, convenient and reliable that cuts down on the wind noise. So it magnetically hooks on to the phone. I've put a plate inside the cell phone case and we have a fairly rudimentary sock. Well, the first one was the gain too high, the second one uh, quite soft, so it's a wee bit hard to know really. It's got a LED that's blue when it's too quiet, green when it's right, and red when it's too much. So uh, I might see if I've got another sock. I wonder if I can get that one to fit. Well, I managed to force it over. Right, so testing this time. Uh, the wee red light comes on occasionally suggesting the gain's too high, but mostly it's green. Oh, we might be on a winner. Let's see if we can hear the birdies. Uh, it's still pretty sensitive to gain and not entirely immune to wind noise like now I presume well, it seems like we might be on to a reasonable compromise I think it'll be time for a light lunch and then a change of scenery. I've been a wee bit under the weather, not COVID, uh, so I'm not feeling that energetic as far as sailing goes. I think we'll just stop here, which is very close to where we started from. Uh, not for the night, but uh, it's quite pleasant. Uh, still on my quest for Huda Carvers and Bloom. So this is uh, Mount Aubrey out uh, here. We have uh, what looks like a tanker coming in.
it's in position, the uh, stack of hoses on the wharf is opposite the crane on the ship that lifts its connecting hoses up to join on. So now they just have to put all the mooring ropes out. to go outside McDonald Bank and I think we'll head to Munro Bay uh, for the night which is up there. Just have to get round McDonald Bank. Here's the island and it's sheltered in here. There's McLeod Bay and Manaya. We have a dog in the background. Dog's coming from over here. Well, to me that sounds like a two-stroke Detroit diesel V8. I could be wrong, but it's a manual winch they're working. Yeah, very low to the deck and a bit of gubbins on their anchor. Well, we're heading on our way. It's uh, starting to rain. And the forecast is for it to certainly be raining with possible thunderstorms in the afternoon. So we're heading home. 